Let me give you a third thing. It's called radiation echo. I love this because the people who actually discovered this discovered it by accident. Their names are Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. They built this marvelous satellite dish out of wood. Is that awesome? Here they are years later in front of the same dish. I thought it was pretty cool. They actually got a picture of them. They discovered they were hearing this background noise as they were listening to the universe, and they were trying to get rid of the background noise, and they had asked their friends, what do you think is causing this background noise? And someone said, well, hey, look at your dish, man. It's pretty dirty. got bird poop all over it. Why don't you clean your dish? So they cleaned the dish. They, didn't even, they, they could never get rid of the background noise until somebody said, well, wait a minute. Maybe that noise is not an artifact of your satellite dish. Maybe that noise is something that's really in the universe. It is. It's called cosmic background radiation. We have now, since this time, launched satellites. Here's one, Kobe, not Kobe Bryant, but Kobe, the uh, cosmic background explorer, who uh, this, this satellite now has actually photographed the background radiation of the universe, and it's pretty uniform across the universe. There is background radiation noise, heat, in the universe, this radiation echo. What could cause that? Well, let me give you another illustration that might help you. You know, if we, I was on SWAT for three years. It was the best, funnest time I spent on my law enforcement while well, I was undercover for four. That was actually funner. But this was not bad. And if we had somebody who was a barricaded suspect in a room, well, we knew if we were going to just charge through the door and try to get that guy, we're probably going to get hurt because he's going to see us coming. So what we would do instead is we would stage somebody on the other side with a flashbang. A flashbang is a canister, and there's a reason why they call it a flashbang. We're so creative. You know why they call it a flashbang? Because it does two things. That's right. That's right. So what you do is you get this guy staged with his hand grenade, basically, and he throws the hand grenade in through a window, and then it's going to explode. And as soon as it explodes, guess what? We're going to rush him from the other side because we're going to have his attention diverted to the noise of the flashbang. And what we discovered when we got inside the room here almost all the time is that once you get in that room after that bang, like your ears are ringing. There's dust everywhere. There's still heat in the room. Why? Because this explosive moment of the flashbang has got a couple of seconds of linger. Follow me? This is what we're seeing with cosmic background radiation. From that singular event of the beginning of the universe, we still have radiation in the universe, which is the afterglow of the singularity. Does that make sense? And we can measure it. And we've tried to explain it any number of ways. The best explanation is it's like a flashbang. It's still there. 